Hello everybody! <laughs> Here we are and uh, we wanted to do a quick little video where we discuss the uh, pros and cons of, of a manual versus standard transmission when you are... Versus automatic oh. transmission. <laughs> Take two. Take two. I don't know. I think we'll just keep rolling. Okay. You know what I meant? Okay. Automatic versus standard which is also called a manual transmission all right so when you're considering truck schools this is actually pretty important so I wanted uh, to get this, this information to you this is not like an all-encompassing video on contrasting comparing throughout the whole industry blah blah we just want to give you a little heads up on something you need to think about when you're choosing your CDL school so here we are hey and uh, if you want tips like this and other kinds of insights into starting a career in trucking, be sure to consider subscribing to our channel. You can hit that button below. And here's, here's Kevin. Hi there. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not uh, by any means an experienced truck driver. I just finished four weeks at a CDL school so I can talk about that experience and maybe shed some light on the situation with a few facts. It is March of 2021 and in this day and age the the old gear jamming trucker is, is not as common as it once was because the industry is moving more and more towards automatic transmissions in the big 18 wheelers, the big transports. Um, if you look at, at the fleets of all the mega carriers they're buying trucks with automatics now they're not buying any manuals at all. And there may still be uses for them, you know, in, in special applications and so on. Uh, but it's worth noting that you, you know, any anybody graduating from a CDL school today, 90% of the students will never touch a, a gear shift. And yeah, and you don't need to. And you don't need to. You can have an entire career without without that. So, and this is significant now in this in this time because I I chose a school that had only manual transmissions for the simple reason that I know how to drive a manual transmission in cars and pickup trucks. I, I learned how like 40 years ago and I thought it would be easy. And if you only test your final exam on an automatic transmission, it's noted on your license that you are restricted from ever driving a manual transmission unless you learn how and test again with a manual transmission. So that limits some of your employment opportunities, but like I said, in this day and age, not very much. And and in trucking, there are so many employment opportunities yeah. that you can choose a path that doesn't require you to know how to do a manual transmission. And a lot of guys think, well, you know, it's, it's the old fashioned way, it's the macho thing to jam those gears and pump that clutch and act like a big shot. Uh, <laughs> And maybe in, in a lot of applications, you, you have more control over the truck, more direct control than an automatic transmission might give you selecting that particular gear for a particular application. Like if you're coming down a long incline, and you want to get it into that gear, and then, and then you're not coasting, whereas in, you, know, you got your jake brake, and with an automatic, you can select the gears too. So the danger is, with a manual, you don't get it into that gear, and suddenly you're freewheeling down a hill mm -hmm. and, and out of control, yeah. or riding your brakes all the way. And not, not a good idea. Yeah. So uh, the, the thing that I've seen in the CDL course, all the students, like we we we've got you know 40, 45 students a day in that in that class, and let's say 30 or so are actually more than like. More than 30 are, are on the range practice area, and we'll get four, eight, like 12 of them out on the road doing practice driving on the road in these trucks. And the thing I've noticed out of all those students over the past month, uh, there's maybe three or four that are very, like from day one, very adept at handling this transmission. Mm -hmm. It's because they've done it before, they came to the school, right. they have experience. People like me who thought we could, you know, shift gears no problem in a car and this would be easy we're having trouble there are even people in the class who have never driven a standard transmission before right and they're up against a lot and yeah. maybe they thought oh this would be a good way to learn how to drive stick and destroy somebody else's clutch and transmission <laughs> and you know let them pay for it but uh, 
we're all grinding gears yeah. and uh, it's because it's not the same animal you're dealing with a really big vehicle you have a lot more gears okay we've got we've got a nine speed we're working with and there's a range selector where you do you do you know four gears and then you flip this switch and you do the next four in the same pattern and, and you're double clutching it, you're double clutching every Which is ship like a whole new you're supposed weird thing. to ah. for your exam you damn well better <laughs> but then there's there's super tens there's 13 speeds there's 18 speeds so what what's happening that I see is these people are out on their on their road practice and I'd say more than 50% of their attention is on the shifting and on watching the tack and on well, where am I now and oops I forgot to double clutch and damn that gears not going in they're not looking at the road. They're not looking at, at hazards. They're not looking at traffic signals. They're looking down at the stick shift or they're right. looking down at the tack and it's dangerous. Yes. And occupying so much of their attention, concentrating on the on the transmission is taking away from what they should be learning about being a safe driver. Right, so they're, they're just trying to learn how to drive a, a stick shift. It's more about what's happening with the transmission than yeah. what's going on outside the truck, which is really dangerous. Yeah. And uh, when they, when they when they graduate and, and go off to a job they'll probably be in an automatic and yeah. they'll find it a lot easier so they can say they learned on a manual they'll have it on their license but yeah. if you're maybe maybe you're even saving a, a a little money on the tuition by going to a school that can't afford a modern truck with an automatic transmission I don't know but at the same time once you have that that experience you may never use it again so give yourself give yourself a break and and just go with a school that has automatics. Some schools have both. You can you can switch. You know, if you find the manual is too much work, go to the automatic and, and take that stress out of it. And you may find that you graduate much easier. Suppose you spend a thousand dollars less on the school with only manual transmissions, but you don't graduate because you keep messing up your exam. Right. That's that's a week's wages you just lost if, by retaking if, the test a couple of times. Right. You're not really ahead. And not if stress, it takes you a stress. week or two, right? Oh right. my God! Yeah. And like like Kevin is saying, you might not actually then end up out there uh, on a on a stick shift. Now, when we took the tour at Swift, they did say that all their trucks now that new drivers get, they're all automatic. Yeah. If you um, want a manual, it, it's a special request. Yeah, and they can get it for you right. if for some reason you have that special request. Mm -hmm. But overall. Um, you know, they've been switching to these automated manual transmissions because they tend to be more efficient, uh, quicker to learn. You know, we've told you there is a serious shortage of drivers out there. And so these big companies aren't interested in you learning how to drive a manual transmission. They want you in their trucks driving, yep. making money. And so they have been switching their fleets over to automated and so this is just something Kevin and I wanted to share with you because when you're deciding what school to go to be sure that you investigate whether it's only manual transmission or only automatic or if they offer both and then you know with the information we're sharing here with you today you know make a decision that works best for you and I was looking up you know some statistics and for example like in 2018 only 2% of all the automobiles, this is personal vehicles, right, that were sold in the US were sold as manual transmission. Um, back in 2006, you could still get 47% of new auto models with either manual or automatic. But that, that's just been dropping, like, you know, now it's 20% and it's continuing to drop. So people are moving away from manual you know, if you still want the 70s muscle car or whatever, sure, you're gonna get a stick shift, right? You can like put your fuzzy, hang your fuzzy dice off it or whatever, you know? But nowadays, it's almost all automatic. And there might be, you know, we haven't done the research, there might be some industries specific in trucking, like I'm imagining maybe the big, the big trucks at, at mines maybe, well, um, we, we don't know. We're not, we don't we're not know, experts on, but, on but the trucking maybe, industry and we don't know what's out there right. and what, what, but that's what the I applications want, might be. What I want to say is there might be some niche parts in the trucking industry where they still focus on manuals. So 
you need to think about you know where it is you're trying to go in trucking and then research that because truthfully it's already enough to learn how to how to be a safe truck driver you know maybe it's not the best idea to combine that with your foray into into manual transmission you know so this is just something that we never really thought about when we were looking at trucking schools and so we wanted to share that little bit of information with you so that you can um, apply that insight when you're checking out the schools all right i think that's it you think that's it yep okay and uh anything else on that let me think let me think i think that's about it okay well if you have any comments or questions please put them down below <laughs> give us the thumbs up if you got something out of this uh yeah thanks guys. you do a great job with that and remember push that subscription button if you want to learn more take care thank you kevin and tanya with love. Bye.